Hello, it's Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs. Uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome to uh, my new subscribers. I know I've had quite a few over the last couple of days and most of you have come from Miss Paintalot's group. Uh, so thank you for that. Thank you for Justin, who is Mr F, Miss Paintalot's, yeah, sidekick, <laughs> for putting a file up with all Fiona's favourite YouTube channels, so thank you. Right, I'm here to do a little bit of stamping and stenciling in my Edith journal. Now, if you've been following me make this, you know it's almost complete. And you might be thinking, yeah, it's easier to stamp and stencil before you finish the journal. But I never know where I'm going to stamp and stencil. And we did highlight a page that was looking very white and blank. There it is. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the stamps and stencils I'm going to choose from. Now, I did mention that I had some Edith Holden stamps that I didn't even know were Edith Holden stamps. How sad is that? Because they're from my card making stash from way before I'd even heard of the Edith Holden Country Diary book. And I used to buy lots of card making magazines and most of them used to come with free gifts. So these two sets are actually free gifts. You can buy them on eBay now. But I don't know if it gives you the year on them. 2014 one copyright is and one's 2012. I knew that I'd had them a lot, a lot, a lot of years. So I may use some of the poppies. I don't think I'm going to use the background stamp today. I just don't think it's going to fit in with what I want. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Definitely going to use some of that. Another set that I picked up off eBay is this one. It's stamps and dies. Have a quick squint. I'm filming this in daylight today. I've got no overhead light on. I'm hoping it's bright enough because I thought we're using all these bits of plastic packaging. It wouldn't glare as much. So yeah, this is a set. It comes with an embossing folder, some little sentiment dies, happy birthday, Easter, Mother's Day, and a little couple of little bees. They'll go lovely on next year's bee projects and some dyes. There's a bird, some flowers and some foliage. Now again, I don't think I've got anywhere. You can actually, <laughs> there he is. There's the bird. Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah. It cuts the bird in that shape. It's obviously not going to have that beautiful Edith Holden detail on. So it's going to be more or less just a plain die cut. So it will have its place, but I don't think its place is in this style of journal. So again, I'm showing you these, but I'm not going to be using that one. So let's put pop you away. Now you can see the next set I've got out on my desk is not Edith Holden. It's a set I've had quite a while actually. And Tanya at Tatty Treasure bought it and started using it straight away. So it's kind of shamed me into getting it out and using it. I think, I keep saying I think I've used one, but I haven't. So yeah, I like, there's the butterfly, that little bird, I think he's going to have his place. So we're going to use him. Now the other set I've shown you before, it's the big set. Yeah, and again, I think I'm going to definitely use the butterfly, I love him. We've got that same little bird again. It'd be so mad if that stamp was the same size as that die cut, but do you know, I don't think it is. Uh, we're going to use that butterfly. Oh, do you know, I lost my little bluebird. Oh, so I thought, I've just found him. Oh, look at him. He was stuck on front at set. Oh, he's flown away home. I'm going to put him away where he belongs, where he gets lost again. Behave, stay this time, mate. Now, I love that stamp. I used it on a folio I made recently. So I'm going to get that stamp out ready. So I know I want to use it. I'm just sticking the ones I'm definitely using to the front of my two malts. Uh, I'm not going to use the big fussy complicated ones. I'm fancying the look of some of these smaller ones just dotted about on the back of journaling cards and such like. I've done some new journaling cards with a much thinner card, cream card, and I think these will be lovely. Uh, I don't know if I want the B. I don't want the larger foliage. I think I'll have that one. 
and I think that might be me for this because we have got the poppies in the other set so I'm going to pop that set to one side now and I've got various stencils I'm not going to show you all the stencils apart from this one which I love you've probably heard me say before I love indigo blue products their stamps and stencils are on a par with the Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous and they're a British company yeah uh, Wales, they're in, I didn't realise they were Wales, ooh. So yeah, I, I love this foliage stencil. So yeah, pop those to one side. I'm not going to use a stamping mat or anything today because I'm stamping in my journal. And I'm going to be very careful. So, this is the one page that's causing me pain. It's too plain. As you can see, I went ahead and finished off some ephemera. I've just sewn around these envelopes so you saw me make a little list in my journal if you watched last time of things i needed to do well i've completed most of them just a few left so i'm going to grab my favorite stamp block no i'm not because that's not it <laughs> um take two i'm going to grab my favorite stamp block here it is it's this long one i just find i have more control with it i'll keep that one out in case i need it and I think this needs some stenciling and stamping. Mm, it does. So first I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do stencil some foliage and then I'm going to stamp a butterfly at the top, I think. So I'm going to use my favourite indigo blue stencil to get some random foliage. And I'm going to use a much smaller brush. I've, again, I've seen Tanya using a smaller brush to do her stenciling and she's got fabulous results so I'm just grabbing a smaller brush from my handy drawer do you want to see one of my drawers yeah there you go I know Fiona was showing her drawers off on film so I thought I'd do the same this is where I keep all my spares and stuff I'm not currently using no idea how that got in but do you know what it might end up in journal so yeah I'm gonna grab an assortment of little brushes that should do us oh I've got yeah, and I bought a really huge set of these and I've not used them all. Pop that back. It's, it's quite good, my little six foot by six foot craft cube. Yeah, because what she were managing to do with the smaller brush, I sometimes move on to the stencil I don't actually want to use. So with the smaller brush, it's more controlled. Yeah. Like I often say, up there thinking down there for dancing and i've had quite a few dancing days lately right i have got masking tape on the back <laughs> that must be the last thing i stuck this stance on to that's um you know that's what i did oh i masked off the stencils i didn't want to use how clever am i i just forgot all that clever <laughs> not clever just uh, because i didn't know about small brushes now i want to use these larger ones so I'm just going to go ahead and pop something in that pocket because I don't want to get ink on that pocket. And what's it going to be today? It's going to be a piece of paper. That'll do me. I hope you can see hope the angle's okay. I'm conscious that it's just got much darker. Yeah, and I'm going to do this with my... I don't want it to stand out too much, I don't want it too dark, so I think I'm going to use Vintage Photo in Distress Ink. Not the oxide, just the Distress Ink. So. It's one of them you can hardly see. What's happening? I'm not 100% sure I like this brush. Yeah, I'm going to do it with more of a sweeping motion. I think I'll get more of a softer effect like that. I want to do this one as well. So we may as well do them at the same time. I'm just going to peel back and have a look. Oh yeah, that's coming out fine. Fine. Just like the day outside. Yeah, and I know I promised I was going to put one a day up of these videos. Well didn't happen yesterday did it Friday was a bit of a washout 
I had a migraine, which I'm not going to go on about. End of. If you have migraines, you know. Thankfully, it was a short-lived one. Soon as it came on, I laid down, listened to an audiobook in a dark room, which works for me. Had a good night's sleep, and I'm fine. But the other little drama that happened yesterday is one of my neighbours is having some building work done. It's, it's uh, got quite a large plot of land to the rear of my house and <laughs> I think what's happening is they're moving out of their house into this caravan while well, the final bit gets done so they had this caravan if you're in Britain you'll know it's the, uh, the type of caravan you get in a yeah static caravan park you know what I mean in Skeggy what you go on holiday in yeah, or if you're in America, I think it's what you call a trailer. Well, it was lifted with a giant crane directly over my house to get it onto his land. And I was just on tenterhooks all morning, waiting for this lift to occur. And I, I, really, I was not very productive at all while that were happening. I could hear it, it was quite noisy. I don't think I'd have managed the video. And, yeah, and then, of course, I had to go outside and film it. Anyway there we go we've got our stenciling done and i'm cr really quite happy with that now at the top i'm going to stamp a butterfly now it's going to be a real test of my stamping skills this because as i've said before i can be a bit rubbish at stamping when i don't have a stamping platform and he's just going to go there and i'm going to do him in my versafine vintage sepia and yes ink to stamp i've noticed fiona's been watching some videos and picked up on this if you're a card maker it's something that's always drilled into you isn't it take the ink to the stamp all right i'm going to use something solid to go under this page i'm going to use my notebook with my little list of things to do we're still in shot we are I'm going to make sure that's held flat then I'm going to come in and stamp him and this could really go horribly wrong we could end up sticking some over oh I'm quite happy with that yeah I'm also quite happy that the vintage sepia is darker than this so and I think those colors yeah they match really well with those on opposite page so I could not be more happier with that page I'm quite chuffed with it. Now I want to do some on the other side. So I'm just going to nick. Where's it gone? Where's my paper? I'm so untidy. Right, I'm going to put this piece of paper in there. Because if there's any ink transfer while well, that's drying, I don't want it on my page. We're going to go over here now. Now, I'm very, I think I want to stamp that there. I really, really do. an odd stamp to get straight i've noticed that bar in the book let me show you the page that it corresponds to because i do just happen to have one at the side of me she says she says here we go i knew i had this page all right so this is the page can you see are we on camera oh, yeah. that's the page that's the stamp that bar there is just about horizontal tilting down a little now I think that will look absolutely lovely there and then I can stamp some of the little birds up top yeah so that's what I want to do I really hope it goes well I really do I want something solid again in there but do you know what I don't want to put the whole thick fat book in so I'm just going to use one page of it I love to improvise there we go and I am going to need a bigger stamp block for this one because it's quite large that's too small grab a bigger one mine's have to grab my, grab my big chunky one for this well bit of overkill there but i don't know where the in between sizes are and i'm not delving so that's gonna go i'm gonna put it the way around it needs to be actually that would help quite a lot then i'm gonna pick it up with my stamp platform and to know where I want to position it, 
I'm going to line the corner of my stamp platform up with my page. Yeah, so I know when I press this down, I want it lined up accordingly. Yeah, I'm worried this is not going to stamp properly and this could be a huge disaster. But I'll just have to cover that page with paper if it happens, won't I? It's worth a try, worth a punt. Here we go. So ink to the stamp. sure it's lovely and well covered i'm so happy i found my little yeah blue tit not a bluebird i'm calling him a bluebird a little free floating blue tit so i can stamp some around top so i'm going to line the corner of my stamp up with the corner of the page this is not going to go well is it because even this page wants to come up i hope you can see this Ooh, seems to be not going too bad. Do you know what? If it's not perfect, I don't think world's going to end, is it? Voila! Whew! So happy with that. That's uh, stamped pretty well. I like it. Now I'm just going to grab my big set again to find that diddy little bluebird I thought I'd lost. And I'm going to stamp a couple up top. Peel your butterfly off there, girl. I'm just going to put my little baby bluebird on. Do you know, is that small? I can't tell which way up it goes. I think that that's it. And I'm going to break the rules here and I'm going to go stamp to ink because it's so tiny I'd end up inking up the stamping block. We can move that out of the way now, I think. And I'm just going to come in and do a few little bluebirds. That right way, do you know? I'm so conscious of this not being the right way around. Oh, it's so cute! So, we'll have a few of these dancing around. <laughs> oh, I love it! Love that. Quite happy with that. Now, I've done that scene quite wintry, haven't I? I'm glad that the envelope. Is the envelope on that side or is the other thing? The envelope is now going to be on this side because you know what? I've decided that's how it's going to be. So the envelope's going to tuck in there. So what do we want on there? Have we got any stamps with like berry type things? Or do we need, we need to stencil, don't we? We need to stencil there, not stamp. So this stencil is on the other side is a bit like berries, isn't it? So do you know what? I think I'm going to use that same one because it's just in keeping with this page, isn't it? So I don't think I'm going to do it quite as dark as I did on the other side. I'm going to start at the top because it's hard to lay this stencil straight with that green, well, with the rest of the body at journal, the chunky monkey that it has become. I just want these that look like little berries. Well, they look like berries to me. I don't know what you think. If that's not good, I'll line it up again. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not putting a butterfly at top this time because I don't think it matches very well. I may just clip something or... Put, I don't know what I'm going to put there. So let's fill this back up. The envelope is now going to go like that. Yeah, I like that. You've got the berry, the berry. Then you open it. It's like, oh, look at all those little birds. Can be a bit crazy. And we're going to put these in this side. I can't remember which side they came out of, but this is now the side they are going in. So there's the little bird there, and the other little bird there. And, oh yes, those labels and those colours, I'm well pleased with that page overall. So that's good. I'll put that ink pad lid on before I put my arm in it. So we've got a few other little places I want to do a little bit of stamping. Like this one, we've got one big blank page. I just want to put something at the bottom. Um, 
let's grab something more <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, I bought this, I've never used it yet. I saw Fiona using one, so I need one of them. It's just a big measuring square. So I'm going to put... Oh, can we even see? Yeah, it's not too dark. I'm really worried now at how dark it seems to be getting. I start these videos when the sun's out, and then the sun goes in. So I'm just going to put some odd little flowers from the other country diary set. I'm going to stamp one here. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. And I'm going to stick with sepia. I don't want to go bringing in other colours. I think sepia is perfect. And I think that is very similar to that. I'm going to have to roll away from my desk here. One, two, three. Pray. Oh, that moved a little bit. Oh, it's still stamped spot on. I'm getting better at this stamping malarkey. So, that there. Just going to grab the piece of paper that I had in my other page. I've lost it. What am I like? I had it two minutes ago, it was in my hand, and now it's disappeared. Let's use a different bit of paper. Eh? Again, I'm conscious that that ink might transfer. Ooh, folks, it's, it dries pretty quick, this, but it's not by no means instant. I don't think I want anything there. Oh, I love that page now. That's now one of my favourites. So I'm looking blank and boring. It's now one of my favourites. Yeah, I think that's... Because there's not a lot going on on that side apart from green, I think that's fine. Ooh, we were going to stamp these tags, weren't we? And do you know what? I'm going to make these pretty simple. It's getting really dark now. I'm just going to flick my light on. I hope it, be careful. I might blind you when it first goes on. Oh, no, it's not too bright. I think that's okay. Yeah, it's, I think we're going to have rain. It's gone really, really dull here. So, yes. I'm going to stamp these three tags. Nothing fancy. I'm not in a fancy mood with this journal now. I think it's got just about all the decoration it needs. And we're just adding a few little finishing touches. And I think I want to use some of these foliage stamps on these tags. And I think because the tags aren't attached to the journal, I'm going to bring the stamp platform out to make sure I get a nice impression. Yeah. So, pop you over there, stamps. I need a 10 foot by 10 foot desk, me. I really do. Move my magnets, put my foam in. Because we're using thin little stamps. And I'll pop my first tag in. I will move this up in a second when I'm not doing 26 things with different hands. Oh, you can just see anyway. Right. I think, uh, I don't even know if that one's going to fit on, to be honest. That yellow one. Well, it's not going to be yellow when we stamp it anyway, is it? We'll see. We will see. I do like this stamp. Do you know, I've, I've snapped stamps in half me. Oh, oh it's just going to fit. And if I have it there... I can still have room for a tag. That's going to fit. So, is it too big? No, it's not. I'm doing it. Just do it. Just do it, woman. So, yes, I'm doing it. Ink it up. And stamp it. I don't think I've got that evenly covered. Oh, actually, I, I think I did. A little bit more down at the bottom. Round middle. 
Yeah, it came out pretty good, that. Oh, I like that. Even as an outline stamp and not coloured in. That's going to be pretty in that pocket. Right. I'm going to peel that off. Put it back on. I'm putting all the ones I've used on that giant stamping pad now. All the poppies fit. We'll try it and see. Come on, puppies, don't pull the head off it. Gotcha. This might be too wide. It is, it's just too wide. So sorry, puppies, you're not happening. Let's... This is quite a tall one, isn't it? I think that is tall and we may get yeah i'm going to put that on and that smaller butterfly and i'm putting both on together because they're from the same stamp set i'm hoping they're going to be the same depth sometimes if you use stamps together from different stamp sets the silicon acrylic whatever they're made from can be different depths and your stamping won't be very even but these should be fine oh yes i like that one so that's two tags i think sometimes simple you need a bit simple don't you <laughs> you need a bit simple in your life i don't know why i'm finding that so funny and yeah i'm just going to refer back to my big stamp set see if i've got one of more appropriate size yes i have because i don't want them to be dwarfed on these tags there you go stamps i think that one's going to be absolutely perfect yeah So I'll take those others off, put them on my big stamp platform, <coughs> stamp block, do you know I've called that block so many different things today, I think, do you know, <coughs> excuse me, parking back to my migraine again, that is one of the symptoms with me, I can't find my words and I just, I think I've said the correct word and I've said something completely different. There we go. Oh, do you know, that has stamped perfectly, but I think I need it a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go over it once more. Oh yeah, spot on. I'm really happy with those now, really happy. It's amazing what a few difference a few little stamps can make, isn't it? I think I sometimes underuse stamps in my journals. I could utilise them a little bit more than I do. So I'm going to work from. Oh, I've just seen a page now. That page just needs a stamp on it, doesn't it? What we're going to have? I think I want a butterfly. So, which butterfly should we have? We haven't used the big one yet. I want the big butterfly and I want it there. So, ink him up. Yeah, we want him at the top. Butterflies fly up, but they don't sit on the floor. <laughs> That's my logic. Yeah? Oh yes, these are pretty good quality stamps. I'm really impressed with them. Oh, I do like him there. Pop that there. Oh, as you can see, I've made the tags. I'm going to sh show you everything I've made in another video. I just wanted to get this stamping one done and out of the way. I decided I wanted to keep that page clean. 
you just do sometimes don't you you just want a bit clean or oh, more tags but again i'm going to show you them in another video i don't want anything there i want something there i want a plant there which plant do i want i think i want this one does that look lovely on that tag i'm not bothering measuring it where i put this on my stamping block because i've got a big full page to go out <laughs> it would be so much easier just to tidy my desk and put this flat on it but no i'd rather chase it around a giant acrylic block because it's much more fun isn't it that way so i'm going to put the giant acrylic block there and i'm going to come in and stamp down here can you even see that? Where's my yeah? <laughs> Wonky stamping. Probably seen top of my head there as well. We. Oh yeah, we like. So put your giant acrylic block away, missus. I'm gonna transfer that to there. So. Like I say, I don't like to go mad with the stamping. Mm, got the butterfly there. I don't want anything there. That's for you to journal on whoever gets this. Oh, that's looking so good. And, yeah, I think that needs a butterfly. I'm going to use the other butterfly on this. This one. Put in there. And I think that might be it from a little bit of stamping. Whoever gets this journal can always add more to it if they wish. When you're stamping. This is my new stamping. Mobile stamp platform, I'm going to call it. And pop you there. happy with that so that's it a little bit of stamping a little bit of stenciling not a lot but you like it i hope another 80s catchphrase there right i'm just going to put these tags back in i think they're lovely that's because we've got a lot going off on that page you will fit in tag there you go you just get a hint of what's on the tag don't you I'm going to, I don't know what, that's not gone, not weighing has it, that's better. I don't know what I'm putting on these tags yet. I think I might just put a little bit of fabric. I don't want too much fanciness on that page, as nice as it is. I might just pick that colour of that pink out and put some pink folded over ribbon. Yeah, anyway, so... That's what we've done today. A bit of stenciling, a bit of stamping. So it is possible to do it after you put your journal together. That's what I usually do. Because I don't know, like I've said, what I want to put where until after my journal's together. So I think I'll come back again later today, seeing as I missed yesterday, and show you all the bits and bobs that I finished off for it. And then we'll just be left needing a flip through, won't we? So, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I've enjoyed doing that. I'm loving how this journal's come together. It's <laughs> a three-month journal, my millennial journal. So, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.